This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy. I'm doing the video today on FTDNA Big Y Block Tree Detailed Review. And it's covering specifically my father's uh, haplo group under the A1704 and under the L196. I want to point out that this is actual data from my dad's kit on Family Tree DNA. Uh, and these are actual real uh, screenshots from his DNA kit. And then lastly, I hate to have to say this, but down at the bottom here, I have to point out that Family Tree DNA is not sponsoring this video. I'm putting this video out at, for my viewers on my YouTube channel underneath my father's branch. So there's two of us here. It says your branch, which is my father's branch, and I'm the other person under here. This is a SNP defined in Family Tree DNA that represents my branch of the McCain line. My father and I have tested and we have this SNP that's unique to the two of us. And then stepping up one more, you have this uh, next one, FT294408. Now that FT294408 is considered the McCain branch SNP. And in one of our projects, it's the Barton project that we're in, uh, this is, defines the McCain branching. This represents our EKA, as you've seen in the previous video that I covered on the, the overview. Now, if we continue on up the, the uh, upstream, we click this button here, this will take us and see how we fit further up into the half low tree. Stepping up, this is where we started with my father's branching. And then you notice right here, it's clear. There's a, a bunch of either snips or snip blocks that's defined upward in this section here. Now I do again want to point out that a prominent, predominant name here uh, after we get in out of this one section is Barton. And then we go upstream another click and then it becomes the defining snip. It's an individual snip well upstream. So when you look at this L196, it has uh, two uh, block snips underneath of it. The one that defines my father's line and then another line. And it, it means this, if uh, a person is R196 positive, they have that mutation, then they have a common ancestor. We have a common ancestor, in my case, on this tree. And it doesn't matter when it was formed, all men downstream to this one man is in this part of the haplo tree. Anybody that has the L196. Now, I went ahead and at L196, I decided we need to take a look into the other branches because we went up and we got here and you see that this is a sibling branch to the one that's my father's defining branch is this sibling branch of A1708 with A1721 with it. Well, we're going to click on it and see what happens. My father has DNA matches in this branching as well, okay? <clears throat> so we know that there's a kinship again in more recent time frames with this uh, DNA matching here. The predominant name at this level, there are four downstreams, A1720, Y07351, FTA47547, FT228487. Underneath this A1708 branching and all Bartons here with exception to an MPE that uh, we understand to be here Now over on this side Notice that this is grayed out or blue depending on what you're seeing on your screen Well, that means that there's more underneath of these than what's just showing up underneath of A1708 if we click the A1720 right here this is the biggest part of our testers. So I'm my dad, this is again from his DNA standpoint, but in the project that we're in, this area, this A1720 is well defined with most of the testers. This is page one of two to give you an illustration here. My dad has DNA matches across the board here in this section underneath of this and under this FT96311. It starts just like the McCain branching. There's a Fowler section over here. Then it goes upstream to Barton's all the way across the page. When we go to page two, I blocked out the section we saw on the other page here. 
And again, we have all these Bartons here that are defined in this section. And again, they're all Bartons. And it all matches to my, to my father's DNA. Now there is another one, if we go back to the A1708, uh, there's another one here that has the gray block, which means there's people underneath of it. Again, the uh, predominant name is Barton at this point, so we're going to go underneath this one as well. And this is what we see. We see a block that is defined by this SNP that has a couple of NPE names here. That's understood to be NPE names. And then again, Barton again. So that shows up uh, as Barton over here. And then, of course, upstream was Barton. I'm at a point now, this is a quick video that I've done here, and there's a lot to crunch on. I advise anybody to step up again. So our defining SNP was L196. That's what we saw that as branched out into the Barton DNA. But there's a big block above it. And my father matches the two individuals that are above that. What we look at here is you keep stepping up until you have no more defining matches. Now in some cases, again, as I said at the beginning of this, it's the first page. Uh, other times, there's a, several deep pages. This is a very mature, uh, my father tested luckily into a very mature area of the R haplo group, and uh, downstream of that uh, we're, we're very deep and particularly a project that we're able to join has over 70 big white testers and almost 120 uh, people that are in the or actually more than 120 people that are actually qualified to be in our lineage the lineage one of the database that we're in on family tree DNA so my advice uh, to anyone that's watched this video is you know step back through it look at everything that the purpose of this was it shows you if you have if you get more males to test that uh, that you know or can to you and you know as again most the general definition is is you know I'm a male so I test or my father tested you know then I want to get my cousins to test first cousins is okay you really want second third fourth fifth cousins literally directly cousinships out there when you look in the matches for the lower testing, the Y37s and the Y67s and 111s, you should see start seeing names pop up consistently the further up you go. 111, I really, I recommend to people to do the 111. Uh, if you're not going to do the big one, do the 111. That way, it, it really gives you the best way. You can look at 37, 67, and 111 when you do the 111. So you get to see all of them below it. There are, is a 12 and a 25 but I really don't recommend looking at those unless you just don't have matches now I have a branch that I've tested that does not have a lot of matches and that's we do look down into there for him we have found some matches and that have actually been upgrading but there's still only a couple I have shown that my advice to you is, you know to go upstream as far as you can see the purpose of this video was and is for intermediate to advanced review of a well-developed tree. It's taken several years of me contacting people to upgrade or seeing if they're, you know, what project they're in, those type things. And, and it turns out that uh, my father and I, we have our ancestor has an NPE event and we know it uh, when you understand our background on our test we, we did this because our ancestor in 1832 took his mother's maiden name and for the last 40 years of my research I've been looking for what is that surname and when YDNA came about it got me to the point that we've upgraded to big Y I uh, have family members that I had these are second cousins once removed to my father that were tested from three different branches of the McCain tree. So we know our McCain line here. We also know based on everything else I've already presented in this presentation that we go back through Bartons. Not only do we go back through Bartons, but we go back through this L196, R L196 and R A1704. And that's great information. We've done the testing. I recommend anybody to do Big Y on a, a male member of your family for whichever line you're trying to trace. 
you know, I, again, for those watching this that are new to this, it's a straight line. It's the male, 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 male line. Whether it's a brother that you have do it or an uncle that you have do it, if you don't have a male directly, those that's your family line. Now, if you do it on your mother's side, it's still, it's your mother's brother's line all the way back through all the males. So that's what this is. That's for the, the new people watching this. For the intermediate and, and advanced people, you know what that is. This, for those advanced members to see this, this shows why I know from our NPE event that took place in 1832 that we are Bartons in history. Still trying to find all the details in between. That's, that's what our jobs are as a genealogist, uh, is to find out the links from me back through my father, through his father, his father's father, etc., so that we can link the males together on each of these branches. And uh, hopefully this was informative to you. Please consider subscribing right here at this button or watching some of these additional videos. Thank you for watching and let's continue to learn together.